In this video, we're going to talk about access modifiers. And access modifiers determine how our properties methods are used outside the class that defines these. And in this case, I'm going to talk about properties explicitly. So to do that, let's go back to our code. And at this point, as I showcased in the last video, is that we are still able to modify this dot name after we constructed our object. And sometimes you don't want this, sometimes you don't care about it. But in this case, I don't want that. I don't want people to be able to modify the name outside the constructor. So the way we can do that is by changing the access modifier. So at this moment, we didn't determine any modifier and the default access modifier is public. And public means that everything is accessible outside the class itself. And that's why we can call this animal.name and also here this animal.kind. But if we want to change that, we can set it to private. And in Dart, it's fairly easy to set something to private because the only thing you have to do is to set an underscore before the property name. And as you can see, we have now got some errors. So when we set it to private, it should only be able to be used inside the class itself. So if I change it to underscore, then here is it, is it fine. And if I change to underscore here, then we should still get an error. And as you can see, that's not the case. So that's really interesting. And after some research, I found that the problem is that this class is in the same file as this code. And to showcase this, we're going to open up an editor. And as you can see, we've got here our code. And if I now copy paste this, then you can see that everything is still fine. Our editor isn't showing that this property isn't accessible. But if I define now a new file here, so I'm going to call it animal.dart. And instead of defining our class here, I'm going to cut this out and print it here. <clears throat> now it's going to say that it can't find the class, so we have to import the library itself. Press enter. And as you can see now, it says the setter underscore name isn't defined for the class animal. And that's because it's private now. So in Dart, which I found very interesting because I, didn't, I haven't seen this before, is that in Dart, private properties are file-based and not class-based. So if you put the class in the same file or something different and you set it to private, it can still be used inside the other class because it's in the same file. So for now, inside our website environment, because we have everything in one pad, it's called in, on the website, private properties aren't working but in this case, you can see that it actually works. And normally I would separate these files. So this is the proper way to work, I guess. So we're just going back to our Dart file. And as you can see, it still works here. If we were able to create a new pad outside this pad, then it should be fine. But let's leave it for now. So let's change it back here to name. Oh, to name. So it doesn't get more confusing. So we aren't actually able to fix this in this way, but there's another way to do this. And that's with the, and let's change it back to, that's with the final keyword. And the final keyword is something interesting. The final keyword says that the name property can only be instantiated inside the constructor and not anywhere else. So as you can see, we have now an error that says all final variables must be initialized, but name is not. And the interesting thing is that we are actually doing this, but Dart expects a certain way that we do this. So I'm going to delete this. And just as before, I'm now going to say this.name. And now it's going to be fine. So Dart has its own way to instantiate a final property, but now we are sure that it can't be accessed or set. It's still accessible, but it's not settable by something outside our class. So that's actually what we want. So 
you delete this and now everything should be working fine so if we run it then we should see the names again 